everyone, it's Allie, and welcome to Adult Hands-On with the Rapid City Public Library. This month we're going to be making some decorative fall wreaths that you can hang on your doorway or on your mantelpiece for the fall, for the upcoming holidays, or anything like that. We'll be using some fun leaves and some flowers as well, and you can get as creative or as simple as you want with your fall wreaths. Let's go ahead and take a look at what we have in our Take and Make kits and get started. In your Take and Make kit, you should have an instruction sheet, a foam wreath, tacky glue, some flowers and leaves, a piece of ribbon, and your burlap. Let's get started. So first, we're going to begin by gluing one end of our burlap ribbon to the foam wreath form. So you can use your tacky glue. Now tacky glue takes a little bit of time to dry, so for the sake of brevity for this video, I'm going to be using hot glue, and you're more than welcome to use that as well. I'm just gonna add a line here. And I'm going to attach that to the back of my styrofoam wreath. Wait for it to dry just a few seconds. And our next step is to start wrapping our wreath. You just want to wrap, leaving about a half inch to an inch of space in between each. And just keep wrapping all the way around. Now, once you get to about a quarter of the way through, I'm gonna put another piece of glue right here, another dot of glue right here, just to make sure everything sticks nice and tight. And hopefully I wrapped this loosely enough to get the burlap all the way around. Let's see. If you find that you don't have enough burlap, you can always go back and kind of put some more space in between your segments. But I have just the right amount, so I'm going to put some glue here. And just glue this onto here. And we can trim off any edges later. And so now I have my wreath. I'm just going to glue this little part down here. There we are. Excuse my phone going off in the background. And now we have our lovely burlap wreath. Next, we're going to take our ribbon and we're going to glue our ribbon to the back of our wreath. So I'm actually gonna glue it right here. Just put a little dot. And we'll press that down. Hold it for just a minute until it dries. And we have something to hang our wreath off of and we can cut this little bit off later. So now we have a hanging wreath. Now our last step is to decorate our wreath with our flowers and with some leaves. So I'm going to start off with some leaves and just peel them apart. And I think I'll put some leaves right here.
We just need to hold it down until those leaves dry with the hot glue. And maybe one more. There we go. And now I'm going to add one of my flowers. So a big dollop of glue there. You can kind of stick this in through your burlap into the styrofoam as well. So we'll hold that there for just a minute. Wait for that to dry and you can put on as many or as few leaves and flowers as you want i'm choosing to just put on a few Oops. looks like i need to glue it down a little bit more on this side so it'll stick straight there we go and you can keep adding more leaves and flowers if you like, or you can stop there. But now we have our very own cute mini fall wreaths. All right, everyone. Thanks for joining me as we made our wreaths today. Very cute. I'm going to hang mine on my front door. I wonder where you'll hang yours. Go ahead and send a picture of us of your, of your finished wreath. Send a picture to us of your finished wreath, excuse me, and we'd love to see all of your creations. And make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for all of the latest crafts and story times and so many more activities from the Rapid City Public Library. Well, we'll see you next time. Thanks, guys. Bye.